In this video, we're doing limits and piecewise functions, and we're going to use the piecewise function with three pieces, uh, x squared, 2x plus 1, and 5 on the various intervals. Uh, what some people like to do is make a little number line to help them decide when to use which function. So our key numbers are going to be the negative 1 and the positive 1. So let's go ahead and put on our number line a negative 1 and a positive 1. Now, notice when x is greater than 1, we're using the function x squared. So that would be any time we're to the right of 1. In between negative 1 and 1, we are using 2x plus 1. So in between would be 2x plus 1. To the left of negative 1, we're going to be using the function 5, which is the constant function. So notice if we're approaching 1 from the right side, we're going to use x squared. If we're approaching 1 from the left side, we're going to use 2x plus 1. If we're approaching negative 1 from the right side, we are also using 2x plus 1. If we're approaching negative 1 from the left side, we're going to be using 5. So let's go through this and see what we can do. So the first one, we're approaching 1 from the right side. So that would be the function x squared. So we replace this with an x squared and plug in 1 squared is 1. Approaching 1 from the left side, so from the left side, now we're using 2x plus 1. And if we plug in a 1, we would get 3. Two-sided limit is comparing the left and the right. Since these values are not the same, we have a DNE situation. Finally, we have f of 1. So now we need to go back and look for equal signs. Notice this top function does not have an equal sign, but here we have x is less than or equal to 1. So we're going to use this bottom function, 2x plus 1. If we plug in, we get a 3. Let's try another set here. So now we're approaching negative 1 from the right side. So negative 1 from the right side that would be coming this way, so 2x plus 1. So if we do 2x plus 1 and we plug in a negative 1, that's negative 2 plus 1 is negative 1. If we approach negative 1 from the left side, that's going to be 5. And it's the constant function, so that's just 5. Again, two-sided limit. Compare their different d and e. And then f of negative 1, notice the bottom function has the equal sign, so it's the constant function, 5. Lastly, if we're approaching negative infinity, remember that means go all the way left. So if we go to our number line, all the way left is the constant function, 5. So no matter what we do, we're always going to get a 5 there. Positive infinity, all the way right, if we look at our number line, that would be x squared. So we're thinking of replacing f of x with x squared. And if we square positive infinity, we still get positive infinity.